if you go to the app exchange to look for QReader apps and you look for QReader applications, you see that there are 185 currently. But if I also put in the filter, show me those that are ready for QReader on cloud or QRock, you see that that number diminishes somehow. Let me give you an example of which are those apps. And this is what people call line of sight application that requires line of sight uh, or direct communication. If we look, for example, for BigFix, we see that this app does not show that it's ready for QRock. We look for Resilient, for example, that we are also done videos of. We'll see that the Resilient app is ready for QRock. Now, not a big deal now because if I go to my QRock administration console, there is a section on the QRock self serve app for data gateway proxy mapping. If you haven't installed a data gateway, I'm going to put a link to the video description of this video where I show you the process for creating a data gateway. So you can take your local logs and flows and send it up to QRock. So you have on-prem things that are not on the cloud, you want to send them to QRock. That's what you use the data gateway for. So I have that already set up in here. So let's say that I want to add, and you can have m several data gateways. I mean, you may have multiple sites. That sense of it. In this particular case, there's only one. So if I, uh, let's say that I want to add a data gateway, uh, a connection through the data gateway for my big fix app, so it will work fully with QRock. So I'm going to put the name of it, Big Fix. You need to specify a season range. In my case, is uh, 172.16.60.180, and you need to express this as a season range. So, and you specify the gateway. I only have one gateway here, and you click Save here, and even comes with a button for you to put the IP address and the port and do a test, uh, which you know, the test the connectivity of it. So that's all it takes for you to get any QReader app working in QRock.